two and a half kilometers long and the fourth largest in the world at the time of its construction. 39,000 tons of steel and 125,000 cubic meters of concrete. Those two main cables that hold up the whole bridge are not as they seem. Within each one are over 11,000 smaller wires that have been spun together. The technique for spinning wire suspension cables was first developed by John Roebling on the Brooklyn Bridge in the 19th century and has since then been used on the Golden Gate, the Severn and many other famous suspension bridges around the world. When on the bridge, it really is a suspended deck. You'll feel it moving with the wind or when large lorries pass you by. It goes up and it goes down, up to four meters up and down. It's designed to move with load and temperature. If you walk over it, beside each of the main pillars on the pavement, you can stand astride the expansion joints. On a windy day, your legs will move together, then apart. In high winds, the car deck can move up to seven meters side to side.